it was my dream when I was uh, in New York City, 2005. My dream is to have two big projects before I die. A festival and a cultural center. Well, one of the two dreams is finally coming true. The first ever Milton African and Multicultural Festival kicks off this weekend, and its executive director, Jean Assamoa, says it's been something he's planned since moving from New York to Milton back in 2008. So my idea to have this, this festival is what? No, Milton is now a growing cultural attraction and creating different opportunities in our community across the town to support for amateur and professional artists, cultural organization, and cultural event benefiting residents, even visitors too. So I said to, though today on the on the on the map position, the mayor of Milton adds a new festival called Milton African and Multicultural Festival. So our premier mission is to bring together Miltonians to promote our beautiful time, to harness our resources and promote the unity of people. That's what it is about. Happening on Saturday at the Milton Sports Center Community Park, the event will run from 9.30 to 8.30 p.m. with some special guests. We start at 10 to 12, but we have the opening ceremony. The opening ceremony, we're gonna have different speeches. After that, now we go to the stage. That is from 12.30, the stage. We have a group from here. We have a group from different countries. We have a band from here. We have a band from Caribbean. We have a band from Africa. It's like a cocktail of cultures. A cocktail of culture that we don't have. So people will enjoy the different dances from different culture and the music too. You know, that's what it is. So it's not something to miss. People have to come. Of course, there will be COVID-19 protocols in place, including mandatory masks to get into the festival. For details, just search Milton African and Multicultural Festival on Facebook. For Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria.